Yo, what's up guys, Terry3 here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a win showcase. Also, I'm going to be giving you guys my opinion on the skill tree and also what builds I think fit best with wind. Alright, but first we're going to look over all the moves. First, we have Rising Wind. Second, we have Gale Palm. Third, Wind Tornado. And up on the upper part of the branch, we have Rasengan, Rasengan Barrage, and then below we have Wind Discs. First, I'm going to show you guys Rising Wind. Rising Wind creates a gust of wind directed upwards. So basically the first wind move is a mobility move, which shoots you up into the air pretty high, and is a good way to escape enemies and opponents you're having trouble with, whether they're NPCs or not. Alright, so as you guys can see, this thing goes up almost about to the high of this windowsill from the ground right there, which is a pretty good distance. Alright, but there is one downside to this move. Whenever you use it, let me show you. As long as the effects are visible, anyone that walks into the middle of it will get shot up the same distance as you, so they'll be able to follow you if you're getting chased by opponents and it won't really work well in that sense. But if you're trying to get to high places or escape NPCs then it works perfectly because no NPC is, is able to get the boost that you're able to. Next we have Gale Palm. Gale Palm sends out a gust of wind. This one is pretty basic and straightforward. As you guys can see when I cast this Jutsu, it's just a gust of wind that goes straight forward. You can't aim it up or down but it does go pretty fast and it has a great distance. Alright everyone, say hi to my little alt named Julian. He's going to be our test dummy and help us figure out how much damage all my moves do. Alright, so we're going to test out the Gale Palm damage. Boom. Alright, so the Gale Palm actually did 20 damage. It's not bad at all. Also has a pretty short cooldown and only takes up about only takes about 20 chakra. Alright, so third off we have Wind Tornado, which constructs a tornado of wind to blast your enemies away. Now this move is okay, the damage is not ideal, but it is pretty big and can throw off your enemies, so here I'll show you guys. Takes up about 22 chakra, it's pretty big, the, the, the hitbox is massive, it's fast and it goes pretty far too. Now the damage on this thing though is very disappointing I have to say. When I use it to hit my ult, it does fling them up and do some ragdoll, but it only ever does 3 damage. You know, I thought it at least did 20 damage, but... The fact that it only does 3 damage and it, they don't take any fall damage because they don't go high up enough when it shoots them up in the air, it's pretty disappointing. And the only times I can find it really useful is when you're trying to gain aggro on an NPC or if you're able to combine it with a fire move because if you do that and you shoot a fireball into the, to the tornado, it basically turns it into a big flaming tornado. And I don't know if that makes it do more damage but I assume it would and at least put the enemy on fire. Next up and what definitely makes going wind worth it is the Rasengan. Now everyone knows about the Rasengan as the OG and in this game it's actually very good. When you cast it, it does, you do get stuck for a second when like doing an animation with your hand to form the Rasengan, but you do get a speed boost and it does stay for a little bit longer so you're able to catch up with your enemy in time if they're not that far away from you. Now here I'll show you guys again what I mean by like it keeps you still once it's doing the forming animation. It's like look, it does keep you still for a second and then boom, sends the enemy flying once you hit them, and actually does a good 20 damage as well. Now this move, you can actually it has a really short cooldown as well. Does about uses about 20 chakra, and you can you can also cancel it. So if you ever want to switch back to your weapon and start using M1s, so you can just click it again, and it'll go away. All right, and do you guys know what's better than one Rasengan's? Two Rasengan's. Yes, there is another Rasengan move in the Wind Skill Tree, which really just tops off the worth. All in all of going down the wind skill tree for making up all the mobility moves that either don't do much damage or don't do damage at all which is the rasengan barrage now instead of having one rasengan in your hand boom you get two i'm pretty sure it also lasts longer than the other rasengan and you run about the same speed and you get this same speed boost as you do for the for the regular rasengan as well and the other good thing about it is that you don't have to wait for the forming animation of this rasengan where you see how it forms it and takes a second it doesn't happen with the rasengan barrage and so it only takes up about 20 24 26 chakra which overall isn't that much worse and this is the thing that i really think makes the wind element so good is that you have two rasengans with very short cooldowns so you can almost realistically just use rasengans mainly during the fight, which definitely would be really good for you, but maybe annoying for the opponents, because you have not only a mobility speed boost, but you also are just overall very agile, and unlike having to sit there forming jutsus and like sitting still and like aiming a jutsu, you have the jutsu in the palm of your hand, 
so you're able to run up to your enemy and hit them with it and deal a good amount of damage and literally repeat it but the one downside about the Rasengan barrage and the one thing I don't like and that really doesn't make sense at all is the fact that when you hit your opponent as you can see I still have one Rasengan in my offhand and if I look at my alt HP my alt only lost 15 HP thinking about it you know it doesn't make sense because because why would it take a more chakra give you two Rasengans and only have one of them hit. Personally, I just think it's a glitch. I really hope that's what it is because it wouldn't make sense for the last move to be worse than the original Rasengan all in all. And I think how it's supposed to work is that you're supposed to be able to hit both Rasengans and each of them do 15, 15 damage. That would be more balanced and that would make more sense because as you see, I cannot hit them. And it does glitch me out if I don't click out of it like with the, Ras with the Rasengan thing equipped because if I try to use my uh, sword, it won't it won't work until the Rasengan just goes away on its own. So I really hope that's a glitch. And before I finish the showcase, I'll let you guys know in the comments down below if it's ever fixed or if it's supposed to be implemented that way. But I really think that's not how it's supposed to work. Now to finish up the showcase, we have the wind discs. Wind discs shoot out disc of wind that bounce you upwards. Now this one is just another mobility move, but I kind of like it for a mobility move because this one really helps you get from point A to point B. And if I was trying to get somewhere, and let's say this is just a pit of void right here and I want to get all the way over there, I can do this with my wind discs. It will shoot out five discs as so, and you can jump on top of them like this, and it gives you a great speed boost and a momentum boost, and it can put you up really high in the air, and these last for a while. So you're able to go from one side to the other pretty effortlessly with the wind discs, which is why I can definitely say uh, the wind elements is a very agile, and mobile based element there is definitely great potential within some of these moves but since the game just came out they also have a bunch of bugs to fix espionance's rasengan moves and this gale Paul move are the only like damage inducing moves within the wind skill tree and it could be it could definitely be a big deal if one of the damage moves are broken but other than that i really don't have any complaints and if you guys enjoyed this or it helped you guys in any way Please make sure you leave a like, subscribe. You don't have to, but it's greatly appreciated. I also have a Discord that's linked in the description below. That's where you guys can be notified whenever I upload. I'm also going to start doing giveaways and podcasts again since I'm starting to upload more and more often. So if you guys like to share some ideas, join up on the Discord below. Alright, but thank you guys again. Good luck on your builds. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.